If you're familiar with the smartphone lens market, you know that Moment has essentially dominated the scene. Their lenses are high quality, well branded, and they have a wicked support and marketing team. And if you're familiar with my channel or my content, you know I'm a huge fan of their lenses and the crew. I own basically all of them. So with this in mind, I've never really done much searching for any alternatives. That changed after today. This is the RhinoShield 4K HD wide and macro lens attached to their solid suit case. I know the name is not my favorite either because it feels a bit dated, but my first impressions right off the bat is that the build quality on everything is top notch. The lens is metal and glass, the case feels premium and strong without looking bulky or cheap, and all the materials are super slick. What I find the most interesting is how it's a two in one system. By default, it's the wide, but all you have to do is unscrew it and you're shooting macro. Optics wise, everything looks great. There's no noticeable vignetting or odd flaring, and although it's wide, the barrel distortion isn't too bad. For comparison's sake, it looks almost identical to Moment's 18mm field of view. With the macro, I did notice that the minimum focal distance is a bit easier to manage than Moment's macro, meaning you don't have to be as close to the subject to get an in-focus shot, and it also has some really nice bokeh. I keep comparing this to Moment because it's my only point of reference, but where the simulators between the Rhino Shield and Moment setup really become apparent is in the lens mount, because this mount works with the Moment lenses too. Obviously this isn't recommended and I can't speak to any reliability issues using Moment lenses on the Rhino Shield case, but I've been using it pretty consistently without any problems and I think this is actually a big plus for the Rhino Shield. I prefer this case to the Moment case. It's too early to tell with the Rhino Shield mount, but I've already broken one Moment lens mount and the one on my Pixel 2 isn't looking great either. Ultimately, what this will come down to for most users is price, and Rhino Shield definitely has an upper hand here. The 4K HD wide and macro lens will cost you 65 bucks USD, but for similar focal lengths for Moment, you'll have to buy the wide and macro separately, and for 119 bucks and 99 bucks respectively. That's a cost difference of $150, not including cases from either because those are both extra. But if you're on a budget, there's no question the Rhino Shield is the way to go, and honestly, I don't see much sacrifice in image quality or build. So if you've been wanting to experiment with smartphone lenses to up your content game, I think the Rhino Shield setup is an excellent option. And if you're already a moment lens shooter like me that just wants some new options for cases, then the solid suit is something to consider. Just don't tell Moment or Rhino Shield I sent you. It will be our little secret. Thanks so much for watching and thanks again to Rhino Shield for sending me this gear. Tell me what you think in the comments. Does Moment have some worthy competition with this lens or are they still the cream of the crop? If you like this video and want to see more, hit that sub button and tap the like button while you're there. As always, the music for this video and almost all my projects is from the music bed. Get a free 30 day trial by clicking the link in the description and you'll get banger tracks for your videos too. Thanks again for watching and I'll be back next time I feel like making a video. Cheers.